संसद अ जॉइंट इनिशिएटिव ऑफ भारतीय छात्र संसद फाउंडेशन एम आई टी स्कूल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड एम आई टी वर्ल्ड पीस यूनिवर्सिटी दिस इयर मार्क्स दर्टींथ इयर ऑफ भारतीय छात्र संसद द मोटो ऑफ दिस इयर पार्लियामेंट वॉज इंस्पायरिंग यूथ स्ट्रेंथिंग डेमोक्रेसी सहभागी होता ना मला खूब आनंद होता आहे। श्री विश्वनाथ करात जी द मैन विथ ए विजन वु हैज डेवलपुड दीज इंस्टिट्यूशन एंड कंबाइंड सर्विस स्पिरिच्युअलिटी एजुकेशन social service all together professor ram charan ji world renewed business advisor arthur and thinka dr r m chitnis ji honorable speakers shri satish mahana one of the senior most legislator with an of experience and who is the speaker of the largest state in the country uttar pradesh shri basavaraj horati another tall personality from the south karnataka shri girish gautam ji shri uti kadar farid ji and then legislators who have come from different parts of the country from the south from the north from the east and west and northeast <coughs> and my youngsters <coughs> sorry of this university who are all ably assisting this conference my dear friends brothers and sisters people say politics is a profession i don't agree politics is a mission for the sake of the nation and we must serve it with passion mission with passion for the sake of the nation without expecting commission giving any omission or giving any remission we must have the passion to serve the nation nation means not the geographical boundary of india bharat nation means 140 crore people all together irrespective of caste creed sex religion and region indians bharatiyas we are all one we must have that feeling and we must try to serve the down trodden the less fortunate remote people rural people the tribal people and also must take care of to see that the women are also given equal opportunity it is our duty we must also start our daily activity by respecting the nature nature culture together for better future national nature culture together for better future so keep in touch with the nature love and live with the nature then you will have a bright future my dear friends india is on the move once upon a time india was known as vishwaguru 
now again an opportunity has come in between because of the foreign rule the slavery and the slave mentality we were let down now again opportunity has come 75th year now india is on the move the entire world is looking to india india is being respected recognized everywhere in every field our boys and girls our youngsters they are doing wonders our people are occupying important positions in the multinational companies across the globe out of the 100 top world companies 50 of them are led by indians bharatiyas our own brothers we must feel happy <coughs> we have opportunities but we also have challenges even today after 75 years 18 percent of the people are living below poverty line around 18 20 percent of the people are illiterate they can't read and write and the woman who constitute 50 percent of the population they do not have adequate representation and in certain parts certain areas <coughs> caste discrimination upper caste lower caste these are all the challenges we have economic disparities we have an urban rural divide so we must all come together to bridge this gap to face these challenges my dear friends you are all legislators elected by the people selected by political parties the legislature of the country parliament <laughs> is like the biggest temple of democracy it is very sacred how do you strengthen democracy everybody has to do his or her job someone asked me sir what is deshabhakti what is patriotism i said patriotism is very simple do your duty that is patriotism bachane kaha sir itna simple hai maine kaha you do your duty everybody does his duty that is patriotism and then share and care is the core of Indian philosophy. Share and care. That is our culture. One boy asked me, sir, what is the culture? Culture is a way of life. I am not talking of religion. Religion is personal. I am talking of the culture, age-old culture, which is given by our forefathers, the great people. We must follow the culture and pass it on to the next generation. Then the boy asked me, what is culture? I said, it's a way of life. He said, sir, I'm not able to understand. Can you explain in one word or give a small example? I said, if you have a roti, bread, if you eat your roti, that is prakriti, nature. If you snatch the bread from other person and eat it, that is vikruti. And if you have a bread, and you share with the next person, another person, that is called a Samskriti, Bharatiya Samskriti, Hindu Samskriti. Share and care is the core of Indian philosophy. So we must all see to it that we care for the less fortunate. The legislators, they should be role models to the people. People will be looking to parliament, to assembly with respect. They will be watching television debates. So it is our duty to raise up to the level, maintain dignity, decorum and decency, and contribute to the debates. I always say, I quote late of President Pranam Mukherjee, discuss, debate and decide, do not disrupt. This is very, very important. Discuss, debate, decide, do not disrupt. Disruption, obstruction, Destruction is not required. Construction is required now. For that, we need to have a positive mind. Freedom movement, we were working against Britishers. But now, we are a free India. So there is no need to have scope for negativism. We must all be positive. Positive is a good word, except during the COVID period. COVID period, of course, you can't expect people to have positive this thing. But in, now in free India, we must be constructive, not obstructive or destructive. 
we must contribute ourselves for the proper conduction of the legislature assembly or council i am not talking of this party or that party all parties together we are all we must all come together like one party national party in the national in the interest of the nation yes you be in our party i want people to be in their party but when we come together to make registrations we are one party that is nation party we are not we are not enemies we are rivals different parties in different states congress or bjp or communist or dmk or admk or shivasena this group or that group we are all one group that is the india group that is bharat group that has to be kept in mind politics has to be kept aside because as i told you we must come together to strengthen the nation to have better infrastructure to have better facilities in the rural areas to see that the poor of the poorest of the poor they are taken care antyodaya taking care of the poorest of the poor serving the last man in queue that should be our priority in democracy so for that we must come prepared to assemblies we must learn i can tell you i i am from a village my parents were not educated i did not go to a convent i went to a village school i studied in telugu medium my own medium but still from school to college to university to assembly to parliament to the ministry to vice president i have gone up to all these positions that is the beauty of this democracy that is the beauty of this democracy if you work hard you will get an opportunity we must all join together to strengthen the country make it strong make it stable make it peaceful because peace is the prerequisite for progress if you have tension you cannot pay attention and you will be doing only pretension and you cannot have retention of those ideas so we should not have tension we must all work together towards the peace and we legislators parliamentarians we must set example to others children watching the television channel or elders seeing in the village panchayat what is happening in parliament and assembly sometimes they get disillusioned and members went to the well of the house tear off the papers break down the mic sometimes it happen unfortunately i can understand sometimes you become angry you are agitated but agitate within democratic means protest from your seat someone told me sir you are saying it's okay but the government <coughs> is not caring for our suggestions your duty is talk out or walk out no break out this has to be understood by one and all either you talk out or walk out there should not be any break out because it will lead to all out of democracy this is an important thing another thing let the government propose let the opposition oppose and let the house dispose finally house the majority you have to go by majority numbers so we must have tolerance towards the other's views tolerance towards other views and you must be tolerant towards the mandate of the people that is also important because people have given a mandate to a certain person certain party you have the right to criticize to protest organize rallies but everything has to be peaceful if you destroy public property you are destroying yourself because we are a free country independent country setting fire to railway station setting fire to bus and all ultimately it will affect people the charges will go up the prices will go up keeping that in mind we should not involve in violence at all neither violence nor silence what chup baithe aaram se baithe jo bhi kar rahe dekhte rahe ये भी नहीं होना चाहिए सरकार गलत रास्ते पे जा रहा है तो उनको रोकना है और बताना है भाई आप गलत रास्ते पे जा रहे हैं विरोध करना है बिल्कुल विरोध भी करो बट फाइनली वोटिंग जो होगा 
उसी हिसाब से हम लोग आगे जाना पड़ेगा माई डियर यंगस्टर्स एंड पर्टिकुलर रजिस्ट्रेटर ऐसी नंबर ऑफ यंगस्टर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस फील्ड्स राहुल वॉज टेलिंग देर आर डॉक्टर्स हाँ डॉक्टर्स एक्टर्स ट्रैक्टर रनिंग फार्मर्स टीचर्स प्रोफेसर्स ऑल ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द रजिस्ट्रेचर इन पार्लियामेंट एंड असेंबली आई वॉज चेयरमैन ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट राज्यसभा अपर हाउस and i used to see sometimes the new members they used to make beautiful wonderful speeches they used to come prepared so there are good people it is not that our mlas or mps are creating garata or disturbance there are very good people go to library read what are the speeches made by parliament eminent parliamentarians nath bhai vajpai pilu modi professor ng ranga मधु दंडावते एन जी गोरे इंद्रजीत गुप्ता ज्योतिर्मय बासु फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्टी एल के अडवाणी डिफरेंट पार्टी डिफरेंट रीडर्स दे मेड पवरफुल स्पीचेस गो थ्रू द स्पीचेस अंडरस्टैंड द स्पिरिट एंड देन ट्राई टू फॉलो द रीडर्स मेक अ गुड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेक एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन द गवर्नमेंट एंड मेक एन इम्पैक्ट ऑन द पीपल इफ द गवर्नमेंट डजेंट रिजन it is their fate people are listening to you and they will be supporting you too keep that in mind my dear youngsters and see to it that we respect each other respect each other because as i told you we are not enemies and what is required is we must all contribute to the strengthening of democracy how can you strengthen democracy by effectively allowing parliamentary legislative systems to function and the media also has a greater responsibility they should not rep report only tension they must report and pay attention to the people who made good speeches also i remember when i went to parliament early days i prepared myself went to library studied and spoke on my favorite subject agriculture which is our basic culture spoke for 52 minutes all parties including professor ms swaminathan they all even charaji everybody complimented me but next day to my surprise there is no mention of my speech in the media venkai naidu eloquently spoke about agriculture only two line if you snatch the mic if you tear the papers if you challenge the other man if you unfold your shirt you are in the news i asked media people what is this they said sir constructive thing is not a news substantive thing is a news if a dog bites a man it is not a news if a man bites a dog then it is a news this is what the press people told you